Hey, I'm John Cannell, and today on Preppy Kitchen, we're making homemade vanilla extract, and I'm including a hack so it can be ready in less than a day. So let's get started. First off, to make vanilla extract, you need vanilla beans and you need an alcohol that's gonna be really high proof so that that flavor can diffuse into the liquid. But there's one more thing you need, and that's time. Normally, vanilla extract takes at least a month for it to start infusing so you really get that wonderful vanilla flavor. But today, I'm gonna to show you a hack that lets you make vanilla in an hour. So it's ready to use, start to finish, one hour, which is way less than a month. So first, let's make it the traditional way and then go through that speed hack. First off, you're gonna use a sharp knife and cut this down the middle to expose the beans. And the fresher they are, you'll see they're kind of juicy on the inside and they just pour forth with the beans. You gotta come here and take a look at this. So you can see already my fingertips are covered in the vanilla beans. That's what these guys are. All those little black specks you see in some of your favorite vanilla ice creams are the beans from here. So you wanna expose those. Some people like to split them in half completely. Some people just like to open them up so those beans are exposed. So there's two types of vanilla. There's double fold and single fold. Most of the time you're buying single fold vanilla which is just a little bit less vanilla-y. If you make yours at home, it's definitely gonna be a double fold and you can buy double fold vanilla as well. It has a lot more vanilla flavor. You're gonna pop these into a glass bottle. Bloop. The rule is for each cup of alcohol you use, you want two and a half beans, but you can always use more. And while I cut, I wanna talk about the alcohol. The alcohol is a solution that the vanilla flavor can disperse into to create that wonderful extract. You just need to have a high proof alcohol. So vodka is a go-to. Sometimes I like to use a bourbon or a nice rum. If you use bourbon or rum, you're just adding more flavor into your vanilla and that's more of a good thing. You could use a combination of vodka and something else if you want as well. Vanilla beans are really time intensive to cultivate, to harvest. They have to cure for a long time. It's a whole deal. So if you're making vanilla extract, you can buy beans in bulk online and you'll save a lot. And one thing is if you have friends who are bakers, like a lot of us do, you can go in and buy them together, split the beans up and everyone can make vanilla extract or have presents to give and it becomes much more economical. Now all you have to do is top this off with your high proof alcohol. After you open the bottle, of course, grab a funnel if, and we're gonna fill that up. The important thing is to cover the beans completely so that bacteria can't start growing in here. The vodka or bourbon or whatever you're using is gonna preserve the beans as well as giving them a means to diffuse through. So this is my vanilla. It's in this bottle. It looks like a science fair project and it's totally clear, you're like, what's happening here? It needs time. This is one I made just three weeks ago. So every couple of days, I just give it like a little turn like this to move things around. And you can see it looks way more like vanilla and it's almost ready to use. Like in another week, it's basically a nice vanilla, but it takes up to a year for that full flavor to come out. So just be warned, if you wanna make vanilla, make it ahead of time because it needs some time to brew. Unless you wanna do things the fast way. So we're gonna use a pressure cooker, today it's an instant pot, and try this hack out. I have my one cup mason jar, so I'm gonna use like three and a half beans. These are really large and super juicy. And in case you're wondering, Today, I used a combination of Madagascar and Mexican vanilla beans. There's three main areas your beans can come from, Madagascar, Tahiti, and Mexico. And since my mom is from Mexico, I always love using Mexican vanilla beans, but they're each different. So Tahitian vanilla beans tend to be a little bit more floral. Sometimes I think Mexican vanilla beans are floral too. And then um, a Madagascar vanilla bean is like really creamy and has like a full bodied flavor. All right, my hands look filthy, but they're covered in vanilla beans and I will not be wasting that. That's like wasting, my, like no, not gonna happen. So I'm adding one cup of vodka right into my mason jar. Fill it up to the top so the beans are fully submerged. Ooh. Now I'm gonna just dip my clean vanilla covered fingers in the vodka 
so that all of it gets cleaned off. I do not want to waste it. That would be crazy talk. It feels wrong, but it's actually right. So now everything is submerged. I cannot wait to try this, by the way. Gonna seal it up is very important. And if you don't have a pressure cooker at home, technically you could like heat the vanilla up on your stove top with the vodka or whatever alcohol, but do not do that. That's a horrible idea. What's that sound? Instant pot just... See, even the instant pot says, don't do that. <laughs> That's a bad idea. It's much safer in a pressure cooker. And we'll talk about some of the safety things you need to do um, after this goes in. Why are you beeping at me? <laughs> I'm adding about one cup of water just so the water covers the trivet. We're not gonna add that much to cover the actual jar. Mm. That's a lot of water. I'm adding about two and a half cups of water just so it covers the trivet. And by the way, you could totally fill this up with mason jars for vanilla if you're making a giant batch, but you know, that's a good amount for today. Seal your Instant Pot up. <laughs> so I have an Instant Pot. Sometimes I'm using it a lot. Sometimes it's in a storage compartment for a few months and be a little rusty. Okay, we need to cook this high pressure for 30 to 45 minutes. I wouldn't do more than that because the vanilla beans can start to degrade and you're gonna end up with a really cloudy extract, which will taste fine, but it'll look kind of off. So, less time. 40 minutes today. Oh, to like 35 minutes. This is gonna be on. One super important thing is do not set it to venting and try and vent it on its own. It's like a giant, it's like a hot bottle filled with vodka that's like super hot under pressure. So let this vent out naturally. It'll take like an hour to vent. So we'll be back with this and I'll show you what my brewed vanilla that's over a year old looks like. <laughs> the moment of truth, my instant pot vented. So let's take a look. Ooh, it's still steamy and it's very hot. So I'm gonna use this. Look at that. That's crazy. This is my year old vanilla that's been brewing for a year. And this is just as dark, if not darker. We're gonna open this up and see what, like if it's actually hot. I'm gonna do a little taste test to compare. Okay. So this is like mana from heaven. It's amazing. This looks like vanilla. From what I've been reading, it'll take like a day for the alcohol, like for the vodka smell to mellow out a bit. Made this at the start of the video. It's just taking on some color at the bottom now. Three weeks old, it looks pretty good and it smells like vanilla. One year old, pure gold. And our 30 minute Instant Pot one, and this vanilla is usable, but I will say that the slow process one is so much more delicate in flavor. So I hope you learned a lot about vanilla today. I hope you make your own. And if you like this video, check out my vanilla playlist.